Trigger warning, discrimination, racial slurs, and emotional abuse. AITA for refusing to speak to my sister because she wouldn't let my daughter be a flower girl at her wedding as planned. Causing multiple family members to boycott it too. So I have a sister who got married last month. I'm going to be blunt. My sister has always been one of those people who has to have everything perfect, to the point that sometimes it was hard to be around her. But she was my little sister, and I have no other siblings. So I always made excuses when she'd hurt me when I was doing things right in her eyes. I was kind of nervous when she asked me and my daughter to be bridesmaids in February because I knew she was going to be a massive bridezilla. Over the last few months, we have had to practice multiple dances, pay for very expensive dresses, and put up with her tantrums. I told her from the start that if she was in any way nasty to my child, I wouldn't stand for it. She assured me she'd never be nasty towards her favorite person in the whole world. Well, her now husband's little cousin started coming to dance practice with her mom, and my sister started to ask her to do little things like show my daughter how to throw the petals. I honestly thought she'd make them both flower girls for a while. But when she started to make my daughter sit out and have the little girl do her poem, I knew what was going to happen. But I prayed I was wrong. I invited her out to coffee a few weeks before the wedding and asked her what was going on. She told me she was glad I brought it up because she was looking for the right time. Apparently my four-year-old wasn't doing everything right, and she was afraid she was going to mess up her version by saying the wrong thing or not doing the dance right on the day. I told her she was doing a pretty good job, and everyone was always praising her. Sister giggled and said it's not their day now, so it's not up to us what's good enough for her wedding. I asked her straight up if she thought her niece wasn't good enough to be at her wedding. She replied, not as something big as a flower girl, but to attend. I asked her how I was going to break it to my daughter, who's excited about being at the wedding. She just told me to figure it out. I told her I'd give her a day to rethink her decision. If not, we wouldn't be attending and speaking to her again before I left. Two days passed. I couldn't put it off any longer, so I broke the news to my child. Even though I tried my hardest and sugarcoated it as much as possible, the news still broke her heart. She cried herself to sleep, as did I and my husband. Well, after a week when I was a no-show for anything, my sister started to panic and started to get everyone to talk to me, even dropping off gifts for my daughter. When I told them why, a good number of our family members, including the bridesmaids, dropped out. We ended up going a few weeks away with no phones. When we came back, my sister had sent me multiple letters and emails apologizing. Her in-laws and husband have called me an arsehole for doing what I did. Edit, my bill saw this post and told my sister, who cried reading all your comments. How do I know? They showed up at my job, knowing I wouldn't want a scene. They begged me to delete the post before people they knew saw it and kept apologizing. Finally, my sister said she might be pregnant. I told her that even if she is pregnant, pregnancy doesn't wash away all the shtty things she has done, and I hope her husband's siblings never treat her child the way she treats mine because I don't plan to be a part of her life. She burst into tears, saying she was sorry and that she loved my daughter. I told her to leave before I called security, and her husband tried to talk to me alone because I was making her so upset and everyone was cold towards them because of me. I told them no, everyone was cold because Cinderella and Prince Charming forgot that after treating everyone like SHT, no one wanted to be in their happy ever after. They didn't like my mocking tone and raised their voice at me. My boss, who knows the situation and has a five-year-old herself, told them to leave, so she's on my side. My sister's MIL reached out to my parents, asking for everyone to meet up on neutral terms so we can all work out our differences. I'm going to go to this dinner party because I want to hear their story and officially tell them to leave me alone. I will update you guys. Update. My sister's photographer saw this post and reached out to me on here. She knew my full name and she gave me her Instagram to confirm. This goes deeper than my daughter not dancing right. Apparently she overheard my sister's MIL and aunt-in-law talking in the bathroom. They used slurs against my daughter and husband. They called me the black man W. The photographer said they were both drunk, but Bill also made jokes around my sister earlier in the day, which she smiled at. She also thinks my family members heard it, and it's the reason they dropped out. So yeah, my daughter wasn't a flower girl because, unlike me, her aunt, or the other flower girl, she doesn't have blue eyes and blonde hair. If you're reading this, Sarah and Frank, F you and your family. My child is too good to be around trash like you both. Stay the F away from us, and if anyone in my family knew the real story and didn't tell me, F you too. Edit 4, thanks to everyone for the love and support, but especially thank you to the photographer who came forward. Thank you so much for bringing this to my attention before I let them back into our lives. You're the real one. Edit 5, so I thought I'd answer a lot of questions that keep getting asked because I'm tired and will be going to bed soon. My parents are fully on my side. 
as are multiple other family members that haven't been cut off. My daughter doesn't know the full story, but as a treat, we plan to take her to Disneyland for Christmas, and my parents have said they will join us. As for my sister, some people have mentioned she might be in an abusive relationship. Well, her husband is from old money, and his family is very well connected in England, which is something she always wanted, so I don't know, but if she is in a bad relationship and afraid, it's up to my husband to forgive her, not me. You can post this wherever you like. Please don't message me again, and I will not give up the photographer's information because she wants to stay anonymous. I found out that three family members knew, including a bridesmaid who dropped out. I've seen a lot of people make fun of the fact that I and my husband cried ourselves to sleep the night my daughter found out. We didn't cry about her not being a flower, nor did we cry while she was awake. We cried because our child was extremely hurt, and there's no better feeling than your child thinking they're not good enough for someone they love. For the commenter who was extremely nasty about my husband crying, a father's love is equal to a mother's. Men do and are allowed to have emotions, do better. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoy listening to these kinds of stories, we've got more in store for you. Simply subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and share it with your friends.